and greetings friends. Today I want to talk to you about Matthew, the 12th chapter, verse 31 and 32, that says this, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. Then verse 32, Whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. And of course, a lot of people take this to mean that since the Son of Man, Jesus, is a person and people blaspheme him, then so is the Holy Spirit a person since that is also blasphemed as well. Does this prove that the Holy Spirit is a person, therefore a third person of a trinity? Well, the Bible plainly defines what is the Spirit of Almighty God. In Luke, the first chapter, verse 35, this is just one example. It says, The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. The Bible plainly defines the Holy Spirit as the power of God, the mind of God, the finger of God. And, of course, the finger of God is God reaching down into this natural world and touching the lives of human beings with His power. And, of course, performing miracles. And this is the context here in this passage in verse 28. It plainly says here that Jesus said, but if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. He performed the miracle of casting out demons. This is the finger of God, the power of God reaching down and touching the lives of human beings and performing miracles. And it plainly says here in Luke, the fifth chapter, verse 17, when Jesus healed people, it says the power of the Lord was present to heal them. This is how God heals, by the Spirit of God, the power of of God. Now, is blasphemy just limited to people? Well, absolutely not. Here in Holman's Bible Dictionary, the word blasphemy is defined this way. Blasphemy is a transliteration of a Greek word meaning literally to speak harm. In the biblical context, blasphemy is an attitude of disrespect that finds, that finds expression in an act directed against the character of God. So it's not can you disrespect places, peoples, and things? Absolutely. And you see it in the Bible. In Luke the tw uh, Leviticus 24th chapter, verse 11, it says that he that blasphemed the name of Yahweh shall surely be put to death. The name of Yahweh means the authority of Yahweh, and the authority is not a person. In uh, Titus, the second chapter, Verse 5, it says that the word of God is blasphemed, disrespected. That is not a person. So it is not limited to people being blasphemed. It can expand into things, places, the authority, and also the power of Almighty God. So to say that these two scriptures prove that the Holy Spirit is a third person of a trinity is just another Bible misconception.